All right, so uh, yesterday the Commodore 1541 arrived, and it seems to be in okay working order. Uh, it's got this weird sticker that I know used to say restored by Commodore on the side, but um, at any rate, let's see. Uh, I'm going to load uh, the Rocky Horror Show. This was before the Rocky Horror Picture Show, and they made a video game of the uh, Broadway show. So um, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and slide it. Oh, I need to turn it on first, don't I? Let's turn it on. And then, see, as I told you, this is an Alps loading. Oops, can be a bit of a pain. There we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and type a load star comma eight comma one, and then we should see stuff happening. Searching for star, loading, and this will take a little while. Not sure if you can hear that. Oh, here we go. The Rocky Horror Show, original TV game. And uh, this is going to take a few more, maybe 30 more seconds to load. Not exactly sure, but it should. Um, oh, that went away. As for the disk drive itself, it's in pretty good uh, physical condition, except for this little sticker, which I can probably remove with some alcohol if I wanted. The little commie logo, and then, um, which which is really, this is really funny. All the 1541 disk drives that I've seen do that. Like, if you rub your fingers on it, if they're oily enough or whatever, they, they squeak. So I've got the Commodore going into the plug, this plug, I think, and then the plug going from the 1541 is this one to the printer. Which I don't use that often, but anyway, uh, this is gonna take a few more seconds, and then after a short while, the screen should come up over here. All right, so the Rocky Horror Show, Brad and Janet walk onto the screen. So, do I wish to be Brad or Janet? I'm gonna go ahead and with. Brad, because I'm a dude. So, um, there's the mansion. I, I'm going to come back in just a second, and I'm going to put this thing on a tripod so you can watch me play really badly. Okay, so it says enter at your own risk. I will do so by pressing the go key. There, the uh, little trigger key. Let me turn the volume. And those guys, they're characters from the show or the movie. Uh, we'll try to take your clothes, and that's a little bit irritating, but you're a guest. And, uh, ooh, oh, I just died. Look how bad I am. So, I guess there's the title credits. Let me try to restart. Alright. Me, Brad. Okay, go ahead. Be done. Brad. Come on, Brad. Be. Enter. And by the way, you're trying to get little pieces of this machine, which are all over the house. Oh, you can only get one at a time as well, which can be a little bit irritating. And I'm a horrible video game player, so just be like, haha, you guys, you suck. 16mm DJ, you suck. Ah, uh, don't die. I don't like to die. Good tribute to the movie, which is uh, excellent if you haven't seen it. It's very funny. Ah! Ah, no! Don't take my clothes. They like to do that since they're all perverts. No! No! No. Okay, good. Okay. Next piece. You know, I'll probably give myself to one of them so that so that I can take out no, so that they can take out my clothes and you can see me naked. It's very funny. Come on. You know, what? yeah. I'll... And when this reaches zero, which it's in Celsius, uh, I think um, the what's his name? What what did Meatloaf play in that movie? It was um. 
the motorcycle guy, the boyfriend. Um, at any rate, he unfreezes, and then he comes and tries to kill me with his motorcycle. So, I need to do several things at once. And will you get out of the way, creepy? I need to, need to go. There we go. Now I'll go up the lift. Music is very catchy. Come on, move! What the hell? I said move, prick. Well, let me move. Ah! What the hell? I'm stuck in the elevator. Let me out. Let me out, damn it! You know what? I don't know if there's any way to reset it. I don't know what's going on, but anyway, there's the Rocky Horror Show, and the new 1541 disk drive, and this is how you get rid of them. Come here. They come out. Of course, the large floppy disks with the non protector You know what? Shut up. Um, yeah, anyway, large floppy disks. If anyone knows how to format these disks so that Kami can use them easily, uh, Kami, um, that would be great if you could tell me that, because I don't know how to do them. And I've got a whole bunch of fresh discs down here, but they just haven't been formatted. And the disk drive doesn't recognize them and stuff. So, um, yeah. Anyway. Floppy. I've got two discs of this for some reason. Came, two came in one package. But anyway, thanks for watching. And, uh, you have a great day now. Okay, okay.